Interesting you say that because you look at, you know, JP Morgan, where you had Diamond saying that he thinks Bitcoin is a fraud. A fraud. And, and, and then he launched a coin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it sort of reminds me a little bit of PayPal's journey too, the sort of contentious relationship with banks and the uh, credit card rails. Um, so are you seeing this shift happen? And again, like, where is this five years from now? Are you able to exist in a world where um, JP, the JPM coin exists and yeah. other banks have their own forms of um, cryptocurrencies? Look, the the JPM coin, I think, actually, in many ways, has been great for the industry because, you know, it's someone who not that long ago was saying Bitcoin's a fraud is now leaning in and it was a macro good thing for the industry and bringing credibility. I'll give it a thumbs up. The, the JPM coin, though, if you really think about it, and there's a lot of banks represented in this room, you know, is Wells Fargo going to use the JPM coin? Probably not. Is B of A going to use the JPM coin? Probably not. And so are we all going to have a Wells Fargo coin and a B of A coin? And now what about the interoperability between these coins? The, the other thing that makes no sense to me, <coughs> in order to get a JPM coin, you deposit a dollar in a JPM account. So it's one-to-one -one backed in dollars and you can only use it intra JPM's ledger. Why did I just use a dollar? <laughs> I actually don't understand what problem that was solving. I think you're illustrating why there's been a lot of skepticism in crypto and the blockchain and blockchain right here. And it's not that people don't believe in it and that it has a very useful case. It's just that it hasn't picked up in a significant way when, you know, Tim said, thought it might have changed the world by now. And yeah. Dan, are you surprised by that? The exclusive intimate meeting that took place today has sparked a flurry of rumors regarding a possible end to the current for many investors. The current legal conflict surrounding Ripple is comparable to the Bitcoin market on any other day, but a small minority XRP owners believe that November 30, 2023 will probably be the start of the settlement of SCV Ripple case with the Security and Exchange Commission meeting in secret in the US. A private meeting has been scheduled by the Securities and Exchange Commission for today. The meeting is slated to take place at the commission headquarters in Washington, D.C., as previously announced. It is expected that all asset commissioners and several senior officials will be present, particularly according to a statement from CC representatives who are unable to participate in person to attend essentially the resolution of an injunction litigation and further administrative procedures. The main items on the agenda for the XRP community are to find a solution that XRP backers have been speculating about a potential closed meeting to discuss possible restraining order settlement. Despite the Securities and Exchange Commission's failure to disclose the litigation's rippling effects in the declaration, a few members of the XRP community that you are aware of have captured that the Securities and Exchange Commission would choose to reach a settlement to wrap up its lengthy ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission are engaged in a court battle. Not indicated that it plans to settle with the blockchain business after asserting in December 2020 that it breaches federal securities laws as opposed to it has made every effort to defeat ripple in court. Expecting an easy win and a significant setback for the Securities and Exchange Commission against ripple, even though the ruling has the court's decision was not warmly accepted. XRP non-investment contract status is one of the many bad decisions. The Securities and Exchange Commission voluntarily withdrew its accusations directed at the executives of Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission versus Ripple legal dispute. The stage that follows the case's decision entered the era of remedies, where the sum of the fine that Ripple will incur to cover the cost of selling institutional clients XRP will be used as unregistered securities. The commission has also dealt with the call to validate an appeal by interlocutory means that would have permitted it to challenge Ripple's achievements. Determined the Remy's phase of the court and has already issued a scheduling directive. The parties need to reach a consensus on the expected resolution of the final motion, which is submitted in April of the following year. According to the directive that follows its doctor-patient discourse on the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple, all discoveries relevant to remedies by February 2024 may be settled in three convenient periods. The parties were required by court's earlier notice order to set up a meeting to settle disagreements should they wish to do so at least six to eight dates between each other weeks in advance, especially the outcome of the outcome of today's private meeting will determine whether the parties will schedule a settlement conference or move forward with the litigation's remedy stage. The lovely and ripple will meet together for the ongoing settlement negotiations. And this is something that will undoubtedly happen when I require your attention. The Securities and Exchange Commission exchanges and Ripple Labs are instructed to engage in negotiations 
to achieve a united southern resolution district of columbia united states the new york district uh is still considering this measure try to bring an end to the three-year legal battle about xrp categorization as the judge by the interim date that the court additionally established specific dates that have been set out for noteworthy junctures in the process of deciding if the parties can reach a consensus the planned security measure for today is the day of the conference with closed doors during these discussions, the settlements are expected to be made by 2024 agreement that individuals who acquired XRP in 2024 will be the ones to conclude the process. The contract would benefit the entire Bitcoin market since it would put an end to the drawn out legal dispute and provide greater clarity within the framework of the virtual and essential financial ecosystem. A noteworthy incident that is frequently concealed in the middle of a domain is the settlement negotiations between Ripple Labs and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Without a doubt, a conclusion to these protracted legal disputes could set a benchmark for clarity, impacting the environment surrounding acting in the future and internet resources functioning as guidance at this particular moment. Yasm is well known for participating in the XRP community and has reignited the conversation of removing XRP from a product made by Ripple Design. Uh, the more recent establishments in a tweet uh, regarding David Schwarz, who founded the company and served as its chief technology officer, Yasin Lurk. Capital raised a very significant query. Given the importance of the decision, given that Moore has been around for five years, Schwarz was pushed to clarify in the months that followed why XRP has not been added to the Ripple Products liquidity hub. According to this, XRP does not belong to Analysa. Unlike the securities sold on the United States market, Torres is essentially security and commissions are necessary for remember that the XRP army was betting that XRP would prevail in court, allowing it to be incorporated into numerous platforms with the liquidity center for effects on the opposing league that there is a clear deficiency in digital assets at the hub during the interim recently. Ripple has developed into the USD and USD stable currency, utilizing the liquidity hub of the providing structure. The people in the XRP community, such as Mo, are now motivated to ask the Ripple team's administration for an explanation regarding the XRP withdrawal because of these examples. And even though he declined to respond to a query by offering a public reason for regretfully, Ripple chose to disable XRP. Using the liquidity hub node, he stated, examined what happened in his comment. Uh, the last time I tried to complete tasks like this that were connected to both the XRP and our OLA plan, the community responded to the lecture by posting comments and offering their views about why and how to remove XRP from Ripple's hub and an XRP the fan is called Baron. Noted that the subsequent observation has not yet reached its conclusion despite Ripple's XRP sales to institutions. There's still controversy surrounding the non-security of the XRP in US courts. Baron has cleared his record after making a clear and accurate observation. Um, digital resources are also accessible. As previously mentioned, both parties will follow the court's instructions during the meeting and look into the specifics of a resolution for POSPOS Ripple's XRP. First, the topic addressed the legal issues surrounding cryptocurrencies because of the lack of clarity surrounding their safety. Ripple won a significant battle. Despite the Securities and Exchange Commission's ban, there is a great deal of animosity between them, and many people are hoping for a resolution shortly. Given that the amount of transactions on Ripple XRP is increasing and is now close to $1 billion, the cryptocurrency may be poised for a rise toward $1 shortly. To set tails apart and make them more, it expressly mentions a supply that could decline in the future. The relative strength index is now functioning at a value of less than 50 while moving upward. This is a possibility that it will occur when there is a collapse that might be followed by a time of recovery longer than 30 days. The average 